Welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, I guess, an updated comparison review of the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11 in 2021. Now, I can definitely tell you if you have the money in the world, getting the iPhone 12 is the better way to go. But the iPhone 11 is still a very, very good phone, which is still being sold brand new in the market. So either or, you know, you can pick them up both from the description down below. You can help support the channel at the same time. Now, side by side, you can see they're roughly around the same size, at least like in screen size. But the iPhone 11 is a bigger phone. It has more bezel on it, technically. And this one, the iPhone 11, has that 6.1-inch IPS panel. And throughout its time, I can definitely tell you I've loved this phone. I think it looks very good still. I have very few things to complain about, again, compared to the iPhone 12. The bezels are a little bit bigger on the sides, a little bit thicker. And you can see that the side of the phone protrudes a little bit more where the silverness is, where the iPhone 12 is more flat. But it's still a very good phone, still has the notch, very good display. I have very little things to complain about it. And I think overall it's a very good phone. Now with the iPhone 12 on the other hand, it definitely has a better display. I think it's still that same 6.1 inch display, but this is an AMOLED display. So this one is definitely a better looking one in my opinion. It still has the same notch, the same type of thing going for it. But I do like how the flat sides make it seem like there's a little bit less bezel. I do prefer that. The iPhone 11s, like I mentioned, it does look like it's a little bit thicker on the sides, but I think the iPhone 12 has a better weight around it, in my opinion. So, in terms of the front, definitely thumbs up for the iPhone 12, but the iPhone 11 really isn't too far off either. Now, in terms of the thinness and thickness between the two, I really do think they're around the same thickness. The iPhone 12 feels a little bit thicker, but I think they're roughly around the same thing. Like, I really didn't think there's that big of a difference between them, which is pretty much the biggest thing to keep in mind. Now on the back, on the bottom of lightning ports, no headphone jack or anything, but the back is pretty much almost the exact same thing on both. Glass backs, you know, wireless charging, dual camera setups, pretty much almost the exact same thing. But you can tell, even from this little glimpse, that the iPhone 11's back is a little bit more white than the iPhone 12's back. The iPhone 12 seems like it's more of like a, has like a pinkish hue on it, I'm not 100% too sure, but the iPhone 11 definitely looks pearl white, where the iPhone 12 seems like it's kind of a little off-white. Is it a big deal? Not really, but it is something to keep in mind. So other than that, that pretty much covers it up on the outside. There's really not that big of a difference. If you gave me one or the other, I wouldn't be complaining too much. They're almost exactly the same thing, to be honest. So in terms of that, that covers it up the outside. Now, software-wise, there is a pretty big difference between them. So the iPhone 12 theoretically is probably going to last one year longer than the iPhone 11. And this is mostly because the iPhone 12 is going to be getting that extra year software update and it has that newer chipset. But we've seen time and time again that that's not always the case. There's been a lot of times where the iPhone from before lasts just as long as the iPhone after it. The iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 is the latest example, but I think the iPhone 6 has and 7 is also going to happen. So this could be another one of those iPhones. You know, I don't know 100% fact, but that could end up being the case. And if that were to be the case, I'd be happy about it. I think the iPhone 12 though has the longest chance of being supported longer, but the iPhone 11 is right behind it. On top of that, I mean, we might as well hit on the battery life. Theoretically, again, the iPhone 11 had a bigger battery, and I've always found the iPhone 11 to have the best battery life between them. I think the iPhone 12's battery life is still really good for the most part. Standby time is much better on the iPhone 11 that i found. But I think overall, if you're going to pick up one of these, the iPhone 12 is probably going to be the better one for longevity. But I do prefer the iPhone 11's battery life, in my opinion. So in terms of that, that covers it up in that aspect. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both of these phones. The iPhone 11 has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigs of RAM, where the iPhone 12 has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigs of RAM as well. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, kind of a ghetto setup, but we got to run with it. Let's go and do something like phone calls, three, two, one. And roughly around the same thing, didn't really see that big of a difference between here. Let's go into music, three, two, one. And there we go, hopping out of this one. Let's get into apps. So app stores obviously didn't work out well, but we can go and kind of scroll through and see if there's a scrolling speed difference. And there's roughly around the same thing. I don't really see that big of a difference for these specific apps. Now let's go and get into something else. Let's, I, you know, as always, I have a bunch of these third-party apps we can go and get into. Let's do Bofa, three, two, one. And the iPhone 12 is better. iPhone 11 a little bit behind, not a big deal. Let's get into Temple Run 2, three, two, one. And it does look like the iPhone 12 slightly faster. Not that big of a difference, though, if I'm being 100% honest. 
but it is like the iPhone 11. It's a little bit slower, but like I mentioned, nothing super crazy. I would not go and upgrade from one iPhone to the other just because of that little temple run difference. <laughs> Let's go and get into thank you. Three, two, one. And you can see the iPhone 12 is slightly faster. There could have been a delay in when I touched the screen too. So again, not a big difference. Let's get into Netflix, three, two, one. And I think the iPhone 11 may have been a little bit faster there, but I'm not 100% too sure. Snake versus blocks, three, two, one. And the iPhone 12 was on the left, and the iPhone 11 is on the right, in case you didn't know. So there we go, that kind of answered that specific question. Getting into some gameplay yet again. I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference. This is not a crazy big intensive game, but it's always good to see how it is for these type of games as well. So we can get into Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. And this one's taken a long time on both, actually. I wasn't expecting to take it this long. And it does look like the iPhone 12 is going to be a little bit faster in terms of the grand scheme of things. So I think ultimately the iPhone 12 is the faster one by a little bit, but it really only is faster by a little bit. Like, there's really not that big of a difference between them at all. So in terms of speed, that covers it up. Now let's go ahead on the cameras. Now this is gonna be a quick one. I've already done a full comparison between these, but pretty much identical cameras on both sides. They are identical, the same thing. 4K 60 on the back, wide angle lens, and an ultra wide sensor. And to be funny, and to be honest, they look almost like the exact same thing as well. Like when I'm looking at them right here, they look almost identically the same thing. On the front though, 4K 60 on there as well. So you're really getting almost the exact same experience on both. There's really not one camera that's going to be way better than the other one. So keep that in mind. Other than that, you're pretty much getting the same thing. So in terms of camera, I would not upgrade from one phone to the other just based off the camera. There's other things I would upgrade from, but this is not one of those things. So, and I kind of answered the question, should you go and buy an iPhone 11 or should you buy an iPhone 12 in 2021? Well, like I said before, you know, in the beginning of this video, if you have all the money in the world, picking up something like an iPhone 12 will probably be the better way to go. I mean, this thing is going to be the phone that's going to last you the longest. It's just slightly faster than the iPhone 12, but it's still worth the money in my opinion. And if you're going to go buy a phone like this, it's probably worth it to just buy this and move on with your life rather than buying almost a two-year-old phone at this point. But I still think the iPhone 11 is a tremendous phone for what you're getting. It's a great value for $599 and even cheaper in the used market. And it has a lot of stuff going for it. Like I've had very few complaints about it. I think overall the iPhone 12 has caused me more problems than the iPhone 11 if I'm being completely honest. But this is a beautiful phone. The iPhone 12 is a really good phone too. If you have the money, getting the iPhone 12 is a better way to go. But the iPhone 11 is a tremendous phone and I've loved this phone every single second that I've owned it. So that's pretty much it. That's the best way I can communicate my idea to you. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.